just go ahead and lift a burden off of you this evening. You're there in Ezekiel chapter 33. Let me just take a, a load of bricks off your shoulders this evening. Look down at Ezekiel chapter 33. Here's the thing, folks. You know, let me just ease, you know, your mind about this one thing. You can't make people believe. It is not our responsibility to force people to believe. Look down at Ezekiel chapter 33. Look at verse number two. The Bible says, Son of man, speak unto the children of thy people and say to them, say unto them, when I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coasts and set him for their watchman, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take it not warning. Here the Bible is saying that the people take a man and they set him up as the watchman. And this watchman, he sees danger coming and he blows the trumpet. You know, he, he's up there and he, doo -doo, he blows that trumpet. He blows the trumpet and he warns the people. If the sword come and take him away, his blood. So it, whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning. If the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. So here there was a watchman. There was a watchman, and he did sound the trumpet. He did give a warning, and this person didn't listen. The Bible says that's not the responsibility of the watchman. But now look at verse number six. So look, folks, you go and you knock on the door. We see the, the terror coming. We see people that are lost. We see what is coming. We know what is coming. And we're out there and we are trying to warn them. We are trying to tell them. And many times we'll go out and no one will listen. No one will take heed to that warning. That is not on you. That is not on you. And remember, even if we could, look, if you could go out and you could force people and you could just argue with people and debate people about the Bible and you could get people to believe that way, you know, I wouldn't be so against it. But here's the thing. It doesn't work, folks. It doesn't work. You, we are here to warn. We are here to warn. We are here to offer, you know, the word of the Lord to the people and the answer to that sword that is coming. And if people don't want to listen or don't want to heed, taketh not that warning. They taketh not that warning. That's not on you. That's not on you. But look at verse number six. The Bible says, but if the watchman seeth the sword come and blow not the trumpet. This is the real problem for the watchmen right here. And the people be not warned. Look, they didn't know it was coming. If the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity. But, see, look, to the lost, to the lost, the result is the same. They're taken away in their iniquity. They're taken away in their iniquity because the lost, look folks, the lost are going to be judged by their works whether or not someone warns them or not. If they die in unbelief, they will be judged by their iniquity. People out there that you see every day, 99% of people that tell you, you know, I believe in works. I believe if I'm a good person, I'm going to go. The irony is they're going to get what they want. They're going to be judged by their works. They will be at the great white throne judgment and they will be judged and they will be taken away in their iniquity. But the difference here is that the watchman didn't blow the trumpet. The result is the same. The watchman didn't blow the trumpet. So the Bible says, but his blood I will require at the watchman's hand. That one, the Lord says, is on you. That one, the Lord says, he puts blame on us for because they didn't know. So look, it's the Lord who saves, folks. It's through the belief in part, it's only our job to present that truth, to warn. If people have heart issues and they don't want to hear and they don't want to, or they hear and they don't want to believe, that's a heart issue. That's God's wheelhouse, not ours to deal with. Now look, let me just say this one last thing. You could be a good watchman and you could be a bad watchman. I mean, the bad watchman wouldn't blow the trumpet at all. That's really not even a watchman. But here's the thing. Some watchmen will be better than others. In Luke chapter 14, the Bible says, go out and compel them to come in. In order to compel people to come in. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, Paul says, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We are to compel. We are to persuade. And here's the thing. People can tell if you care. You will be much more persuasive of a watchman 
You will be much more compelling of a watchman if people can see that you care. So it's important that we have that compassion for people, that we have that real heart for the lost, because that will make us the best watchmen. And you say, well, you know, I just, I just don't care. I'm just phoning it in out there when I'm soul winning. Well, you know, that's a hard issue on your side. You have to ask yourself, why don't you care? 